Okay, well, we're back in Michigan and um, started the day in a really wonderful, um, joyful way. And yesterday, of course, we were in five states, and today uh, I will be spending the rest of the day here on the ground in Michigan talking with voters and reminding them of the stakes and reminding them of the power they possess to actually determine the outcome of this election and the direction of our country. So I'm very much looking forward to today and the next 48 hours. Todd, any questions? Vice right, President, do you have any closing argument for Arab American voters and voters in the Muslim community as to why they should vote for you in this election? Sure, absolutely. Well, first of all, I am honored to have the support of many Arab American leaders who represent the interests and the, the concerns also of the Arab American community. Um, but I also know well enough to know it is not a monolith. There are many issues um, that are the issues that all Americans face. And then, of course, some that are specific to what is happening in Gaza. And on the subject of Gaza, um, I have been very clear the level of death of innocent Palestinians is unconscionable. We need to end the war, and we need to get the hostages out. And as President of the United States, I will do everything in my power to achieve that end and a two-state solution where Palestinians will have the right to self-determination and security and, um, and stability in the region. But again, the issues are as varied as they are for any voter. It includes that, um, but it is also about bringing down the cost of living. It is about um, supporting small businesses in the community. It is about bringing down the cost of housing, groceries, extending the child tax credit. And these are issues that resonate in that community as well as every other community. And I will continue to speak to members of that community and um, to ask for their vote, which I hope I earn. Alex? Thank you. Alex? Mm -hmm. Alex, oh, I'm Warren. Sorry. You have there to say go. the last name of someone else. Oh, keep going. You Don't know, it's 48 hours out. Everyone's a little tired. Who was with us last you. night? <laughs> You're right. A few sleep um, deprived. But, um, Please. Simply, how are you feeling and have you submitted your ballot? I am feeling great. I am looking forward to these next 48 hours to continue to talk with the voters and, and talk about the stakes and. Um, and talk about the future of our country, which I think is bright when we are working with the same spirit of building community, building coalitions, and building the strength of our economy and our country. Um, I have. I actually just filled out my mail-in ballot, so I have voted. Darlene. Madam Pre Vice President, um, have you returned the ballot to California, and how did you vote on Prop 36? So I have, my ballot is on its way to California, and I'm going to trust the system that it will arrive there. Um, and I am not going to talk about the vote on that because, I, honestly, it's the Sunday before the election, and I don't intend to create a, an endorsement one way or another around it. So, but I did vote. Nandita. Uh, thank you. Madam uh, Vice President, Donald Trump uh, prematurely claimed victory in 2020. Just his comments in the past few days seem to suggest, you know, that he's thinking about it. How will you and your campaign respond if he does the same thing again? So here we are on the Sunday before the election, and I would ask, in particular, people who have not yet voted to not fall for his tactic, which I think includes um, suggesting to people that if they vote, their vote won't matter. Suggesting to people that somehow the integrity of our voting system is not intact so that they don't vote. And again, I think that it is a, a tactic. It is meant to distract from the fact that we have and support free and fair elections in our country. We did in 2020. He lost. and. The systems that are in place for this election in 2024 have integrity. They are good systems, and the vote of the people will determine the outcome of this election, and everyone must know that their vote is their power to determine the outcome of the election, and their vote will count. It does matter. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank Thanks, you all. Thank you. Thank you.